There are many, many benign growths in the skin that we see every day. And the characteristics that you want to look for in a benign growth is something that's not changing, not bleeding, not scabbing, uh, that is generally uh, stable and there for a long period of time. Not symptomatic, not itching. So moles are a very common benign growth. Dermatologists call them nevi. Moles start out early in life, they start like a freckle, and they get bigger over time, get a little raised, and as we get older, they usually get more raised, more fleshy, and have a little less pigmentation. Moles will be symmetrical, uniformly colored. Generally, they'll be smaller than a pencil eraser. They're not itching, they're not changing, they're not bleeding. Skin tags are these flaps of skin we get as we get older in body fold areas. The most common place to get skin tags will be the neck, under the arms, and in the groin, where skin rubs up against skin. These are benign growths. Nothing needs to be done. They're very easy to remove if you would like, but they're nothing to worry about. And they're very, very common, and we all will get them at some point in life. Solar lentigenes, or liver spots, are brown spots that occur on sun-exposed areas. They're due to the cumulative effect of sun on your skin over your whole life. They are completely benign. No treatment is necessary. If you want, they can be treated with liquid nitrogen, intense pulse light, or lasers. The important thing to watch for is, are they changing? Because what you may think is a liver spot may be something more than that. As long as it doesn't change, nothing to worry about. Seborrheic keratoses are one of the most common skin growths we see, and we all will develop them as we get older. They look like warts, dry little tan to brown growths that are stuck on the skin. You almost feel like you can pick them off. They can be varying sizes, and people can have hundreds of them. They are of no consequence. They're completely benign. They're easy to remove if you want, but it's unnecessary. The treatment for them, if you want them removed, generally is with liquid nitrogen. Occasionally, they can become inflamed and irritated, particularly in areas where they get rubbed, and then we would freeze them off with liquid nitrogen. Angiomas are benign growths of blood vessels. The two most common kinds of angiomas are one called a spider angioma. These generally look like a little red spot that when you press on it, it blanches and you let go, and the redness comes back. Generally, the redness comes in the center, and then you see this flush or blush to the outside. That's why it's called a spider, the body of the spider and the legs of the spider. Completely benign, common in children, very common in women, especially during pregnancy. No treatment is necessary, but they can be treated with a laser very easily. The other type of angioma is called a cherry angioma. These look like blood blisters that very commonly occur in the body, once again, as we get wiser and more experienced. Uh, they can be left alone or they can be treated with a laser, but they're of no consequence. They're just a sign that you're having a wonderful life. Dermatofibromas are reddish-brown, firm, scar-like bumps underneath the skin. We don't know what they come from. They may occur following an insect bite, and they feel like a little pebble underneath the skin. And these are benign, and nothing needs to be done, and there's nothing to worry about. Again, as with any other benign growth, you want to make sure and watch, is it growing or changing or bleeding? If anything like that happens, you want to get a check because it may not be a benign growth. Cysts are another common benign growth, and these are nodules or growths underneath the surface that are mobile. You can wiggle and move around, and they're a benign growth of a, of a hair follicle. They can be surgically removed if you want, but nothing needs to be done. Occasionally, a cyst can rupture underneath the skin, and the material, the oil and the scale inside the cyst sac gets into the surrounding skin and it gets red and swollen like a giant pimple. If that happens, then you may need to have that area drained and you may need some antibiotics or an injection into the cyst. But generally, cysts, if left alone, are never going to be a problem.